coming up on this episode of the new Fly Fisher, we're deep in Brazil hunting jungle fish, all kinds of fish with teeth. But the cool part is that we're in all kinds of different environments, including flats, ponds, rivers, and streams. Check it out. The adventure starts next on the new Fly Fisher. Yeah. The new fly fisher has been made possible thanks to Eco Lodge de Barra, Orvis Sporting Traditions, Scientific Anglers, Umqua Feather Merchants, Superfly, Fly Fishing Made Easy. Deep in the heart of the Amazon jungle floats a magical place. A place where there's literally zero footprint and nearly zero impact on our environment. Where giant river otters play and freshwater dolphins cruise constantly in search of food. Where strange birds and even stranger bugs abound. Locals live in harmony with their surroundings, ever mindful of invisible jaguar eyes in the jungle. Ecolodge de Barra is a floating fishing destination with everything you'd ever want at hand. What makes this place so amazing is not only the multitude of fish species you can catch on fly, but also the environments available to adventurous anglers. I have a fishing travel agency, so I'll, I'll be fishing around the globe. So I collect the best things that all the lodges around the globe have been, has, and gathered together. So. I think it's, it's okay. We arrive at Eco Lodge de Barra via Manaus, Brazil, and hop on an hour and a half jet flight to a remote village of 250 locals. The lodge is located 100 miles upriver from any other settlement and is literally floating in the middle of nowhere. Preparation is key, as here, there are no fly shops, convenience stores, or comforts of big city life. It's you, your fly rods, and an upcoming adventure as epic as the Amazon itself. We are trying to call it jungle fishing because of so many different spots and so many, so many different species of fish. Uh, this is really different. I, I don't know so many places that has this diversity. Fishing in this vast river system, you are afforded the opportunity to pick your location. And based on time of day, you can also target many species on fly. For example, early morning and later in the afternoon is a great time to hit moving water for the famed vampire fish, or payara. At Ecolodge de Barra, you have access to creek-style fishing, lakes, ponds, flats, rapids, and main river environments. Boats are strategically placed at many locations for hikes to different bodies of water. The pressure on these fish is basically non-existent, and there are fish literally everywhere. It's uh, about 15 species you, you, you can easily catch here on these waters. Target species are peacock bass, bakuda, payara, and arowana. These are the most fly-friendly species in the waters of the Amazon. However, you do have opportunity to fish for a variety of catfish and piranha as well. We begin fishing Pyara early morning in the rapids. Pyara are prehistoric looking, very aggressive carnivorous fish who use their front fangs to aid in killing their prey. They are most aggressive in the low light of morning and evening and readily take streamers. They are notoriously hard to hook, so sharp hooks and trailers are a must. Much like tarpon, their jaws are all bone. Oh. Oh, 
Yeah, Chago. <laughs> okay, save you your first. <laughs> Mine hasn't jumped yet. Oh! You land yours. Can put your water? Come on. Oh! <laughs> Regardless, Pyara definitely give you buck fever. And when you do come tight, it's a thing of beauty. Good job, Diago. Let me take a look at these teeth. Look at those teeth. Give it a kiss? I don't think so. When he attack your fly, wait a few moments. Okay. To... And then hit him. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes. Hook it. Got one. Good job. Well, it's worth the work, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, it's a good fish, too. Yeah? Nice one. Now, I'm fishing with a, a nine weight with a uh, intermediate sinking line and a full sink tip on. And I was counting that fly down. Oh, I'm out of breath. Counting that fly down to uh, probably a 15 count. And uh, that was the ticket to get these Pyara in to come to hand. Oh. Oh. <laughs> They're as acrobatic as they get. <laughs> Diago, you fought that fish on, a, on an eight weight. Man, I'm glad I've got a nine. Come on. He's still not ready. Try again. Oh. Yes. 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 Landed. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. That is the ticket, isn't it? Toothy critters. Just incredible. All right, let's get them back. Yeah, I think he's good to go. Amazing. Yes. Good fish. Great fish. Oh, wow, that was a big, big one. one. You got him? Yes. It's a big fish? Yes. The big one. Diago, you've caught two or three smaller ones since we've been here. This one's a giant? Yes. <laughs> Not the giant, but big one. We also switched flies this morning. We went to a double hook, a tandem a tandem fly, which helps on the hookup ratio big time, doesn't it? Devil hook. Last yeah. night I missed probably 15 fish. Hook, <laughs> hooked 15, didn't, didn't actually land any of them. Um, so with this tandem rig, obviously it's, it's starting to pay off already. We're on our way to one of the back hidden lakes here on uh, Ecolodge de Barra, and our host Roberto suggested that we stop at this rapid up the way here and try for Pyara on the way, and was it three casts, huh? Yes. Three casts, and Diego's hooked up with a giant, a giant Pyara. We've been fighting him for probably seven or eight minutes now, and uh, he's taken us, you know, a quarter of a mile down river. So Pyara apparently are quite sensitive fish, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna tail his fish, bring him up to Diego, Diego's gonna take the hook at it, we're gonna let him go right away back into the water. Now that is an amazing animal. And if you look carefully, 
His teeth actually go right up inside of his jaw, and you can see them on the top of his nose. See you, buddy. Wow. Bye-bye, amiga. Excellent fish. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. After releasing that pyara, a storm moved in and forced us off the water. On the next day, on our way to the sand flats, we decided to hit that hot spot once again to try our luck at some first light fish. First thing in the morning here on these river systems is ideal, not only for peacocks, but also for different species that generally feed morning and night. So what we're doing is we're targeting fast moving water to hit pyara. And pyara are also known as the vampire fish. So there's a small window in the morning and in the evening where they are voracious feeders. And if you can hit it right, and you can hit the moving water just so, you got a great chance at hooking up with these toothy critters. Fish. Bikuda. Good fighters, huh? <laughs> now, these are your favorite fish to catch, yes. aren't they? Now, you were telling me earlier that you think that the Picuda is a, uh, a distant relative of the Barracuda in saltwater. Is yep. that right? Yes. They fight the same kind of way? Strong, too, yeah? Mm-hmm. What fly are you using? In the big streamer. The big streamer? What color? Uh, green and white. Strong bite. Strong fish. <laughs> yes. Wow, look at this. Look the the eye the, looks like a peacock. Yeah, you're right. It's got a it's got a false eye. Yes. But interestingly, mm -hmm. it's got a very pointy nose and very, very oh snap snap. Very, very small, razor sharp teeth. How big do they get? So seven kilos. Okay. So up to 14, 15, 16 pounds. <laughs> kind of like a cross between a barracuda, a northern pike, and a muskie, and a whole lot of bad attitude. That is incredible. My turn. My turn. <laughs> You're hoovering up all the fish, man. Bikuda, very good. Called it. <laughs> Looks like I've hooked into my first Bikuda. Now I too have a, a bit of a different setup than Thiago has. Thiago's got a full sinking line. So what I did was I, put an intermediate line on with a sink tip. Uh, and to that, I wasn't getting down deep enough. So what I did at that point <laughs> was put on a barbell, barbell eye streamer pattern. So I found the happy spot, the zone where these fish are feeding. A little bit bigger than yours, not much. I'd like to go under the boat, huh? <laughs> I've got a 30 pound leader on here, so I've got the, gra the drag tightened down quite a bit. Nice. Nice bicuda. Not too bad for my first bicuda. Awesome. You know, there's so many new species down here in the Amazon basin that uh, every fish you catch is just, it's a wonder. It's unlike anything we have in North America. And um, it is just a ton of fun. And there's fish everywhere. There's absolutely fish everywhere. Flats fishing in the Amazon basin is incredible. Vast expanses of shallow sandbars exist all around the Eco Lodge and are frequented by many different species of fish. Caution must be taken to ensure you're not in the company of crocodiles when you step out of the boat. Fishing these sandbar flats is just like fishing the flats of the Caribbean.
Thiago and Guy Jefferson pull up to a steep bank on the river's edge and begin our short five minute walk to a tiny back lake pond in search of arowana and peacock bass. This is one of the more unique areas here at Eco Lodge de Barra that it's, it's a chain of back bays and there's literally 30 different lakes that you can get to hop, skipping and jumping through these little creeks. And what's great about them is it feels like it's its own little micro environment, but it's filled with peacock bass as Tiago has on right now and lots of big arowana. And you know what? You really never know what you're gonna catch back here, but it is just worth the trip just to get back into a place like this that literally feels like it's been forgotten in time. Ooh. Big one. Two big ones, come in behind me. Good, good. You gotta keep that fish tight while you're getting them on the reel, these big ones. If you don't, you get wrapped up in your leg. And the cool thing was, was that this fish was reacting to the, woo, nice to the one. pressure point where the actual surface tension was being broken by the, uh, by the line on the water. And he was striking at where that point meets, where the line and the water meet. I twitched, 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 and all of a sudden he saw the fly and it was boom, game on. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Now this is why you come to Brazil. Ah! Eco Lodge de Barra. I could do this all day long. This is absolutely perfect. <laughs> so this was the money today. Amazing fly. One of the things that you should keep your eye on when you're fishing these isolated bays or isolated, isolated ponds down here off the Amazon River Basin is though you're focused on fishing structure on shoreline, every once in a while take a peek over your shoulder and see what's out in the main body of the pond. I happened to do that just at the right time this afternoon when you know, I looked over my shoulder and I was able to see two peacock bass sunning themselves in the middle of the lake. The male was in the front and the female was a little bit behind and I made a split decision to make a cast to the big fish. Now, one, things that you have, one of the things that you have to keep in mind is that when you do make that cast, remember that you have a fly line that the fish can see. You need to be aware of the distance between your fly and the end of your fly line so that when you make that presentation, you're not gonna spook the fish with your fly. Cast a little bit ahead, lead the fish, strip back, and hopefully, like we did, we got lucky and you can land that peacock of a lifetime. Hey. Arowana. Yes. Oh, look at them all. Woo. Throw out. Look at all the fish. Now the key thing with getting a fish on the reel is you have to maintain tightness, especially fishing down here when you're all barbless. So you have to keep your line tight. And if there's fear that you're gonna, gonna not get them on the reel in time, don't worry. Yes. Don't worry about it. Just go back to the line Monty. and strip to yourself. Look at how beautiful these fish are. Okay. Did you see all the school? There must have been 75 fish in that school. Yes. Maybe. And then yes. it's very nice. Landed. Very nice. Do they have teeth? Yes, they do. Thank you. There we go, okay. Now let's take a quick look at these. Look how slender and sleek this fish is. Totally thin. It's got barbels on its chin. You can feel around in this muddy water. And they're just like little torpedoes. No tail what to speak of, but they are just incredible.
yeah. Roberto, you got a winner. Oh. Diago, show that fish. Show that fish. Cachilinga. Another species. Another species? Yes, cachilinga. Look at the tail. Yeah. It's red. Red tail. Mm -hmm. Yellow tail. Yellow tail. Cachilinga. Still has teeth. Very nice. Cachilinga. What's that? Eight different species now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Well, listen, I can't tell you how much fun it's been fishing with you. I want to thank you for joining us on the new Fly Fisher, catching Payara, Peacocks, all the rest. It's been an absolute blast. And remember, if you're in the mood for adventure, just go out and find it. And what fun to be able to do it with a fly rod in your hand. I'm Mark Melnick. For everybody here at the new Fly Fisher, thanks for watching. We'll see you down the road. The new Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to Eco Lodge de Barra. Orvis Sporting Traditions. Scientific Anglers. Umqua Feather Merchants. Superfly. Fly fishing made easy.